revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Your father knew which hands to shake. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Bye, Bat. <laughs> this is Selena. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Falcone's calling card. The chemicals. Where are they? We're all being played in, including you. <laughs> it's the Waynes. <laughs> well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us, but you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. Tell me all of this is a lie. I wish I could. There are no angels in Gotham, Bruce. Maybe there never were. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. You kept their secrets for them. I'm trying to help you understand. Then try harder! Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. Working with Falcone and Hill. I expected a regular accounting, not a pact with the devil. Your father was a good man in many ways, but this was his undoing. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. 
I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. How could I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Thank you. I won't let you down again. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known. Too... too big. Yet, there it was. Wouldn't Chill just run when he recognized him? Well, it's a fair assumption. But he didn't. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. Sadly, he was mistaken. I just... I can't picture him as a criminal. Not the kind I deal with. In that moment, he was simply your father. Possibilities are frightening. I take him to jail, just like any other criminal. But he's not just any criminal, is he? He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading, you don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. Do I really want to know? Stay back! Take whatever you want! 
Life of Merciful? Just business. He told me you had it coming. You... you don't have to do this. Getting you in to see Falcone like this? I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you, but this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. Look, I get that, Harv, okay? And it means a lot to me. <sighs> I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. The last time you disappeared behind closed doors with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support, but I should at least know what I'm getting myself into. I'm not sure, but I think Falcone put a hit on my parents. Wait, what? Bruce, that's... that's terrible. That's why I have to speak with him. I have to know for sure. Bruce, I appreciate you opening up to me, but just try and keep it cool in there. I don't want any headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Gentlemen, we finally put Falcone in his cage. Now, well, thanks to the information you gave me, Bruce, he won't ever get out. Whoa, I'm sorry. Uh, information? What information? Oh, well, I assumed you knew. I was going to contact your office first thing. It was nothing worth mentioning. Your friend gave us the whole case against Falcone. Oh, not worth mentioning, huh? It's the reason I said yes to this unorthodox request. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thanks, Sergeant. We're keeping Falcone in the infirmary. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but he held back. He cares about doing the right thing. Whoever he is behind the mask, Batman's a hero to me. Yeah, it's great to know he's out there watching over the city. All right, Falcone's inside. Just say what you gotta say. We'll be out here. Bruce Wayne?
You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. <laughs> Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. <laughs> Just like every other time they tried to put me away. We need to talk, Falcone. You weren't so eager the last time we met. But then, I knew you'd come around. Especially after the press got their teeth into you. <laughs> You're your father's son. Yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Until you sent Joe Chill to kill him. Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. Hey, I tried to get through to you at Dent's party. Maybe I should have spelled it out. Got a whole closet full of birthday presents I was never able to give you. We are not family, Falcone. I'm nothing like you. If you're anything like Thomas Wayne, then we're not so different. Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> Damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? I keep my veins clean of any of that gunk. But you never forget the tender kiss. It'd be so easy to give me the whole vial, wouldn't it? Enough there to put an old dog down forever. Of course, you'd never know the whole story. How much of your parents do you have in you? What kind of son did Thomas Wayne make? I'm not a murderer. No, you're not. That's why you were kept in the dark. Much better, kid. Thank you. <laughs> Just you like that reminds me of your mother. Your father may have been the doctor, but Martha... She had the human touch. Think you got more of her in you, tell the truth. Yeah. There's a kindness in you. I lost her so young. I hardly remember anything about her. She had steel in her, did Martha. She was the only one that ever had a hold on your father. Until you hired an assassin to kill them both. What, you really think I hired Chill? Sure. I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that. They're waiting for you in hell! The bastard had to die. Hands in the air! Stand down! Get a doctor! Secure this floor! No one gets in or out! Go! Go! Shit. Ah, I bought us some time, but not much. Word's gonna get out, sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. I don't, I don't know. I hardly recognized her when she burst in. She was so different from the woman we met in the hall. Ah, it's a disgrace. 
disgrace. Another officer gone rogue. It just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. <sighs> Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. Uh, details are still coming in and that we're investigating. The, the usual. Harvey's right. We need to control this story or someone else will. Then we need the whole story, not just part of it. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. Tell me if she says anything. I have to know why she did this. Ah. Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God. I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. Fresh injection site. Mm, that doesn't look like blood. Her veins. Still visible beneath her skin. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results. Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. It's not good, Sergeant. You shot Falcone. I did what? No. God, it's true. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then it just felt light, like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt, no consequence. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was gonna get off. And all I knew was that I had to stop that. I had to, no matter what. D did you see a face? Could you ID a suspect? I, I don't think so. You must remember some detail, try. I remember a hand on my arm, guiding me like a parent with a child. The voice, it was saying something about revolution. Cobblepot said something similar. I'm so sorry, Lieutenant. I've let you down. We stalled Falcone's lawyers for now, but they'll be back. So how is she? Did she tell you anything? Yeah, hey, 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 don't worry about that now. Montoya remembers being drugged. I was out of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! What are you doing here? My friends in the in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown? I'm, I'm sorry, Vicky. I, I don't have time. Don't brush me off. Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. 
Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. Where did you get that? So it's true? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Word is, you turned over enough dirt on Falcone to put him in Blackgate prison for life. A day after he showed up at your house. And now you're here. You can't afford to be associated with another scandal. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Just give me something to run with. Please, get out of my way, Vicky. I'm in a hurry. Huh. Disappointing. Maybe you have more to do with this than I thought. Either Cobblepot drugged Montoya himself, or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found at the docks. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Murder at the hands of Montoya. That's not justice. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn from him? Practically family, he said. Family? Funny, I don't recall any Sunday dinners with the mob. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was... messy. They were out of control. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but drugging others to fight them for you? Oh. Considering the amount they stole from Falcone, they could build a small army of remorseless assassins. The thought is chilling. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. Bring 
Doe, you go. You'll be the right head. All right. The Skyline Club. Jesus, didn't even wait for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. Come check out this office. Where is the trap? You can help me. What? Let him go. Batman! It's about time. You kill a crime boss, you'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. Oh, don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. They'll be pleased to know you think so highly of their work. The only thing you'll get from me is a trip downtown. Is this about Falcone? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Pounded him into a pump on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself. Admit it, Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out! I don't kill my enemies. Maybe that's why you got so many. Might be time to reconsider. As a show of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. Oswald Cobblepot. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? Gotta admit, you've got flair. Here's the thing. I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. They found Catwoman. What do you want with her? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. So sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay to watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Or oh, what's her name again? Selena. Yes! Oh, beautiful name. Track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away.
raided his house. Sorry, You lost? Cause I don't have time for tourists. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. Do you know Selena Kyle? There are men after her. Uh-huh. When aren't there? Well, these ones are trying to kill her. Hey. Don't I know you? It is you. Knew it. Cops take all your fancy clothes? <laughs> Are you trying to lay low? Of course, you're not really the low-lying type. Nice to meet you. Uh... Frank. Yeah. Funny seeing you here. So much in the papers. Whole other thing, meeting the man in real life. You're uh, shorter than I thought you would be. Leave him alone, Frank. Man's just trying to have a quiet drink. He didn't seem to mind the company. Whatever. Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. That's why I'm here. You're in danger. I've had rats on my tail all day. The man who hired you. His name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. The Penguin. <laughs> penguin can't take on both of us, and I'm not going anywhere. Clearly you know something about him. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. I grew up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics? You two have a lot in common. The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Why leave that? Oswald wanted Falcone out of the picture. Looks like he succeeded. So what? He wants to take his place? Maybe. For starters. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald... Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? That's your choice. If Penguin is everything you say, there's no tree high enough for you to climb. He will find you. So what are you suggesting? The bat helps the cat? And the cat helps the bat. Bruce, sweetie, the gallant knight thing, it really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us, working together? After all, I'm not really an all work and no play kind of girl. Harvey knows that. Keep Harvey out of this. The less he knows, the safer he'll be. I'm sure his safety is your paramount concern. You and I... Well, Bruce, you were right. Selena Kyle, Penguin says, hello.
Beat it. We're here for her. If you care about your own skin, you'll get the hell out. Want more? Then let's give it to him. Pretty good, for such a pretty boy. Come on, this way! We should go. I'll take the rooftops. You take the alley. Wait. Yes or no, will you help me stop Penguin? I'm gonna say maybe, but only because he's trying to kill me. Pretty good reason to say yes. You shouldn't trust me, you know. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. Uh, processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here. All from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? Uh, the last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. 
this is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. I should have guessed. Hill's working with Penguin. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice. People look up to Batman after how you handle Falcone. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Going as Batman is the sure bet. Batman has the public trust after taking down Falcone. Try not to throw it away by going overboard on Hill. Battering the mayor is not a good option. Don't worry, Alfred. I'm a light touch. When I need to be. The city will thank me later if Hill tells me Penguin's plans. Deborah, you incompetent! Dents up in the polls. I need to crucify him in the debate or we can kiss re-election and your job goodbye. You'd better be back here in the next 15 minutes or I'm cutting your pay. Who's that? Deborah. Deborah. Is that you? Expecting someone? Maybe the penguin. Oh! Batman? What are you doing here? You know who Penguin is. So I've heard of him. So what? I've got nothing to do with that lowlife. Do you hear me? You're leaving out a few details. <gasps> I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Wayne, there's the real problem. He's the one you should be after. Every fiber of his being built on lies. What does Penguin want with Bruce Wayne? The atrocities that occurred at the hands of his father. He only wants to expose the Waynes for the criminals that they are. <gasps> Security! Pick up, goddammit! Security! Don't kill me! I've done nothing wrong! Why come to you? Because I knew about Arkham Asylum, and what was done to those poor people. Penguin wants revenge for what happened to his mother. Thomas Wayne sent her to Arkham, along with who knows how many other innocents. Nothing was wrong with any of them. Until Thomas locked them up. People aren't thrown into Arkham without cause. Someone would have stopped him. You think no one tried? Whatever happened in the past, it's nothing compared to what's happening now. Penguin isn't the only child of Arkham. There are others whose families were destroyed by Wayne. They'll make Gotham pay for his sins. You can tell your story to the police. See what they think about it. If I hadn't given Penguin what he wanted, he would have struck at the debate tonight. I didn't just do this for myself. I'm trying to protect Gotham. Finally. About damn time. It's Batman! Shoot him! Come on, get the mayor out of here! Ah! 
I heard everything, Master Bruce. What he said about your father, it must be difficult to process. I need to know what went on in Arkham Asylum. Indeed. I'm just as frustrated as you are. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. What else is on here? As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. But... Gordon heard about Batman's surprise visit to the mayor. He was far from happy. Thanks for the heads up. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hells, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel. To learn so much in so little time. To hear their crimes detailed, first by Falcone, then by a snake like Hill. It makes me question myself. You shouldn't, Bruce. You are your own man. And the city needs you, now more than ever. <sighs> I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it then. Gotham District Attorney Har Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at... What they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there. Now. Harvey needs to get out of there. Hey, Bruce. Man, I'm glad you called. I needed to talk to you, actually. Something's come up. Something that's... Ha Harvey, listen to me. Your life is in danger. Because of Penguin and his thugs? Thanks, but there is an army of security here. They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of overkill, if you ask me. It's not overkill, Harvey. It's a real... Please. I need to get this off my chest. Uh, look. Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to... <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. Until all this mess with your family blows over. They're afraid it's... I, I don't care, Harvey. You need to get out of there. I can't leave now. I mean, think of the message that would send to the voters. Bruce, I'm ahead in the polls. A win tonight, and I could take the election. What with the allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. But here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money, I am dead in the water. I know this is a delicate topic, but I need you to keep me afloat. 
I may have to trash you in public, but you and me, we all know the truth about our friendship. Forget your campaign for a minute. The money won't matter if you're dead. Yeah, well, until I am, it is still my primary concern. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? Whatever it takes to save Gotham. I'll always support you, Harvey. Oh, thank you, Bruce. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. To Gotham. I'm sorry, Bruce. The makeup person is here. <laughs> Guess she needs to put on my face. I hope you can still watch the debate somewhere. Uh, no matter what I have to say tonight, remember... You are always my friend. Harvey! Yeah, all quiet so far. I've got a feeling that's about to change. But just so we're clear, you and me, we're on shaky ground. Jim, listen. No, listen to me. The excessive violence, it, it can't go on. Most of the GCPD already think you're a monster. Don't prove them right. I do what the police can't. I get the job done. Now give me the report so I can do my job. Fine. Just do it without splitting anyone in half. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Your security has been compromised. I've got patrols on every door. You better check on them. I'd keep that holstered if I were you. What's she doing here? She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. Really? You're gonna drag out that dead horse? We're all on the same side, Jim. This better not come back to bite me. Alpha Patrol, come in. That, um, incident in the bar. Dead is its own kind of cage. I can't stand being in it. Not that I needed your help or anything, but you had my back. I thought I'd repay the favor. You know, like you scratch my back, I cut some people up. You don't owe me anything. Those scum had it coming. And they say chivalry is dead. None of my men on the ground are responding. Enough waiting. We're going in. Alpha, do you read? Now aren't you glad I'm here? Well, you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. We are seriously underfunded at the GCPD. Sounds like a vote for Dent, Lieutenant. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our live debate for the next mayor of Gotham City. This is an important debate for these two candidates, incumbent Mayor Hamilton Hill and the challenger Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent. And it's also important for you, the citizens of Gotham, who will soon head to the polls to decide the future of your home, a city that's faced its share of hardships in recent years. Rising crime rates, income inequality, and yes, Masked vigilante loose on our streets. Candidates will tackle it all. At least we know why they weren't responding. Gordon, we found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. Oh, those goddamn so sons of sorry, ladies and gents. As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. First order of business... Firing the moderator! 
I hate to be a downer, but these hostages... I don't like their chances. Oh, they just didn't have a head for the issues. If we're quick and decisive, no one else has to die. If you say so. But Penguin's playing for keeps. Fanatics always do. You'll do. Get out here. Keep it quiet back there. These guys are armed to the teeth. Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there. Yes. You. Thank you for volunteering. Please. No. Go on, then. Introduce the candidates. Stage fright, huh? All right. I'll get you started. But this is your show. Three hostiles. Gotta take them out quietly. On the left! Out of her! Saucy gun! Our down and dirty incumbent, Mayor Hill! And on the right, always smiling to your face, our despicable DA, Harvey Dent! Bird mask guy. Whatever your name is. Call me Penguin. Yes, of course. Penguin. Sounds fun. First. Heads. Questions. Ask them questions. Um, okay. uh, Mr. Dent, uh, the, the subject on everyone's mind is the new Wayne Mental Health Facility. It's, it's a much state of the art of mental health care. For treatment for the most unfortunate of Gotham citizens. I told you I was the truth. Not that sterile old mess is rubbish. I gave you what? Show you from the opening statements, Pillock. Rule one. Talk when I say talk. Show your gob when I say show your gob. Easy. Rule two. Scratching, biting, and kicking each other are all encouraged. Rule three. Keep your heads down. Make for the police line. And now, a word from our sponsor. My gentlemen, brothers and sisters of Gotham, you have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. We are here to end the masquerade and expose the corruption and ruin your city. For too long, Men like your esteemed mayor have profited from the pain of innocence. This is spiraling out of control. They have no idea about the man behind the mask. Whoever it is, they're smart. Let someone else get their hands dirty. Look into the hearts of these spineless creatures. Chosen to Go on, love. You know what to do. Saw that moderator get shot on live TV. What's going on in there? First off, we should incinerate the pool. Beautiful. 
We're out of time, Batman. The brass is going nuts with those two drugs on stage. It is not too late to save the city. Get back to politicians. And what about the corrupt elite? The men whose fortunes are built on corpses. Men like your friend, Bruce Wayne. You're as bad as he is. Happy to look away from what you don't want to see. Roll the tape! Subject 9. Dad. I thought your father was dead. Subject 9. Esther Cobblepot. You've been declared criminally insane and committed to Arkham indefinitely as a ward of the state. Please, I'll sell you the land. Please don't do this. You had your chance. You should have made the deal we offered you. Give her the drug. Thomas, we were, we're friends. We both play together. You were warned, Esther. You know I always get what I want. Commence the procedure. Give her a dose she won't come back from. <laughs> now you know. Now you will see. Certainly know how to make an entrance. Go! Why don't you kick a crap out of here? Yeah. <laughs> 
paramedics over here, now! City Hall is in chaos after Mayor Hamilton Hill was confirmed dead. While several members of the Children of Arkham have been arrested, the Penguin is still at large. He won't be the same after this. Meanwhile, the Wayne family scandal continued to escalate after the full list of Thomas Wayne's victims was released to the public. Lawyers representing Bruce Wayne have no comment at this time. We are the children of Arkham, and we have opened your eyes. Next time on Batman, the Telltale series. You may have saved me, but this isn't over. You don't know these people, Bruce. Authorities are scrambling. The so-called children of Arkham have the city in a frenzy, but there's still no sign of their masked leader. With Hill and Falcone dead by their hands, the question on everyone's lips is, Who's next? After that news about your father sending innocent people to Arkham, sounds like the whole city wants your head on a pike. The Waynes have always run this company, but now... they want to decide what your future at this company will be. Do you really think Bruce Wayne is worth protecting? What do you want from me? You know what I want. No more hiding, but for anyone. But don't worry. Bruce Wayne's finally gonna get what's coming to him. Bruce! Bruce! <laughs>